basically I worked at a company called LSC Group, I worked there for 10 years, something like that. And we met at LSC Group and we used to go running every lunchtime. I was gradually finding that more and more I was losing my stamina. I wasn't being able to keep my fitness up at all. You know, I then started to carry my left arm. So I went to the doctors, didn't I? Yeah. And they said, definitively, you've got Parkinson's disease. We came home and um, told my parents, and that's when the devastation starts because your parents then carry the illness for you. I used to have to go to work and hide in the toilets when I took the drug because I had sweat pouring out of me and it just really, really hits your brain and affects your brain. I was pretending basically there was nothing wrong with me. I was IT project manager, running in four or five IT projects at the same time. And the, really the effect of doing that and increased the speed of my disease. You know, the combination of drugs works fine, keeps you going, keeps you moving, all great stuff, but the, there's the obvious, you don't get nothing for nothing with these drugs. There's a payback. Typically the thing that really hit me to start off with was taking my boy to football. I didn't have the stamina, didn't have the energy, couldn't run around with him, couldn't play with him. It's absolutely gutting. You know, you, you immediately move from a 39 year old person who's very fit, played squash, did a lot of running, to a 40 year old, 41 year old yeah. person who stands by the side looking like a 65 year old person. It's that quick these things happen. At the start, I'd looked at stem cells and thought, well, there's not enough research behind it. It's, it's not proven science. I then eventually got to the stage where I thought, well, no, it's not proven science. But if I continue like I am in five years' time, I'm going to be needing a deep brain stimulation operation. I had the um, honour of having the most stem cells in the week. So I had 17 million stem cells injected into my spinal column. I can't be a victim. I don't want to be a victim. You know, I want to contribute to society. I want to earn fair, a fair living, look after my family. I want to do normal things. And all I want to do is normal things. What, what I need is a support me mechanism behind it that, that recognises where I'm at, doesn't recognise it from the old way of, sort of viewing PD. People out there need to understand that PD is in the sort of general public with younger people. So when I walk into Cheadle, my local town, my head starts going, people don't think, what's wrong with him, he, he, he's a nutter. They understand, oh well, actually maybe he has PD because that's one of the side effects of PD. That's one of the things that happens. You know, the one thing I hang on to at the moment with the stem cell treatment is, the stem cell hard work was done here. My bone marrow was taken out in Germany. It was driven to Plymouth, where they took out, they extracted it in a lab in Plymouth and drove it back to Germany. How mad is that? Why can't I do it in this country? Why can I not, as a person, say, I'm an adult, I want to take this risk. I understand the risks. I'll sign a piece of paper giving everybody the waiver they want. Just, I'm, I'm a guinea pig. I don't care because, you know, over here is no hope. Over here is some hope. But to me, it's, it's a no-brainer. You know, I really genuinely don't understand it. You know, it's nanny society gone mad.